Who do these people think they are? They think they own the country? They think one idea is going to be imposed on the whole country? Never! Bitter attacks, allegations and a mockery of the ruling BJP government. Congress President Rahul Gandhi continued his anti-Modi stride as he addressed a public rally in the iconic Hapta Kanjebung playground in Imphal. Surprisingly though, Gandhi was seen reiterating the same issues he picked up in Itanagar. Targeting the Modi-led BJP government for trying to impose the Citizenship Amendment Bill on the North East, Gandhi once again said that the Congress stands for the protection of the culture and heritage of the region and would not let the bill pass at any cost. I want to commend you. He comes to Manipur and then insults your culture, insults your language, insults your history. His president says that I will ensure that the Citizen Amendment Bill is imposed on the people of the Northeast, on the people of Manipur. I want to commit to you from this stage. We defended the Northeast in the Rajya Sabha. We did not allow the Citizen Amendment Bill to be passed. The Congress Party is going to defend your culture. It is going to defend your language. It is going to defend your history. We are not going to allow the Citizen Amendment Bill to be passed. Gandhi also slammed the centre for allegedly imposing the Vice-Chancellor of Manipur University, who he believes was an RSS puppet. Gandhi lauded the people of Manipur for standing up against the Vice-Chancellor, which he alleged was forced upon by the centre. They impose on Manipur University. They impose a Vice-Chancellor knows nothing about education, completely mediocre man, incompetent man, they impose him on you. Why? Because he knows how to put on shorts and hold a lati. I'm glad that the people of Manipur have stood up against that man and removed him. I'm glad that the courts of Manipur have removed that man. While addressing the gathering, Rahul Gandhi also did not miss out on the opportunity to take a jibe at the Prime Minister over the Chaukidar campaign, alleging that Modi duped the country by destroying as many as 1 crore jobs in the year 2018 alone, meaning a destruction of almost 30,000 jobs a day. This morning, the job statistics have come out. What Mr. Narendra Modi has done for the youngsters of this country. In 2018, the Narendra Modi government destroyed one crore jobs in India. Every single day of 2018, Mr. Narendra Modi destroyed 30,000 jobs in India. Can you imagine? I mean, it is so absurd. It is so ridiculous that our Prime Minister makes statements about giving two crore jobs to India. Going on with his political rhetoric, the Congress chief yet again raised the issue of the special status category that was implemented by the Manmohan Singh-led UPA government while it was in power until 2013. He alleged that Prime Minister Modi changed the previous Look East policy and named it Act East policy and snatched the special status as well as industrial policy benefit from the people of Manipur. He comes here. Somebody wrote in his speech, don't say look east, say act east. Are bhai, uske baad action kya ki aapne? Hamne kaha tha ki Manipur ko, North East states ko, special status ki zarurat hai. In Mr. Narendra Modi's act east policy, he snatches special status from you. Takes away what is yours. We gave you an industrial policy dedicated for the Northeast. He re revo revokes it, takes it away. Noteworthy that for the first time, Gandhi made a direct attack on BJP National President Amit Shah, stating that Shah is campaigning openly around the country even after murder charges have been levelled against him. The Congress President was referring to the Sora Buddin Sheikh murder case. Amit Shah, who makes all these statements about Citizen Bill, 
He's got a murder charge against him. The president of the BJP, murder charge. Proudly they send him around the country. Earlier on Tuesday, Rahul Gandhi held an interactive session with the students at Manipur State Film Development Society where he spoke on the ideological differences between the Congress and the BJP. During the session, Gandhi accused the BJP of trying to impose one idea upon the entire nation. He also alleged expenditure in the education sector has seen a drop in the last five years with only one central university being established during the time. Bureau Report, Northeast Life.